today we are going to discuss anatomy of modern calyx triangle and its surgical importance learning objectives for my today's lecture are at the end of this session students should be able to define modern calyx triangle name its boundaries contents they should also know the surgical importance of calyx triangle mcq type of questions at the end of this session or for revision and assessment modern triangle of calyx is also known as cystohepatic triangle this triangle is very important surgically it is a triangular area found within the lesser omentum near porta hepatis the above description refers to modern triangle of calyx as the original triangle described by jean francois calyx is different the modern triangle of calyx is also known as cystohepatic triangle is a triangular region in the lesser omentum near porta hepatis the boundaries of this triangle are it is bounded superiorly by inferior or visceral surface of liver laterally by cystic duct it is medial border is formed by common hepatic duct thus it is bounded by two tubes that is common hepatic duct and cystic duct and liver calyx triangle versus modern calyx triangle as described above the boundaries of modern calyx triangle are superiorly liver laterally cystic duct and medially common hepatic duct this triangle is shown by these vertical white lines in contrast the boundaries of calyx triangle are it is bounded superiorly by cystic artery laterally by cystic duct and medially by lower part of common hepatic duct so calyx triangle is bounded between three tubes that is cystic artery superiorly cystic duct laterally and lower part of common bile duct medially in contrast to modern triangle of calyx which lies between two tubes and liver now what are contents of calyx triangle the contents of calyx triangle are right hepatic artery formed by bifurcation of proper hepatic artery into right and left branches cystic artery typically arises from right hepatic artery and traverses the triangle to supply the gall bladder lymph node of lund the first lymph node of gall bladder is also contained in the modern calyx triangle in addition there are lymphatics which cannot be seen with naked eyes in this diagram we can see the contents of calyx triangle right hepatic artery from it arises cystic artery which gives small branches to supply the gall bladder lymph node of lund lymph node of lund lies in the lower part of calyx triangle in addition there are small lymphatics which cannot be seen by naked eye lymph node of lund is also known as calyx or mascagni's node is the sentinental node for gall bladder it lies in close proximity to the cystic artery and is one of the structures removed during cholecystectomy historical background of cystic lymph node of lund the lymph node was first named after american surgeon fred betts lund it is also called calyx node in homage to the french surgeon jean francois calyx who described the triangle in which the node usually lies it is also called mascagni's lymph node why calyx triangle is surgically important calyx triangle is surgically important because the cystic artery needs to be ligated during cholecystectomy lies usually in the calyx triangle variations in the origin and course of cystic artery are very common they are present in 36% of individuals calyx triangle is also important because of posterior relations of the free margin of the lesser omentum let us trace the origin of cystic artery and revise the branches of ciliate trunk ciliate trunk arises from abdominal aorta it gives left gastric supplenic and common hepatic artery from common hepatic artery arises right gastric right gastric hepatic and supraduodenal there after this vessel is called hepatic artery proper hepatic artery proper divides into right and left hepatic branches from the right hepatic artery arises cystic artery which usually supplies gall bladder but this artery is known for variations in its origin and course surgical importance of calyx triangle during cholecystectomy it is within this area that surgeon will usually find the cystic artery that needs to be ligated as shown in this animation the surgeon applies two ligatures and cuts the vessel 
in between the ligatures. I stress the term usually as the hepatobiliary tree is one of the areas in the human body that has the most anatomical variations. In fact, the anatomy in this region is considered to be normal only in 64% of cases. The cystic artery may not be found in the triangle of calate. Therefore, careful dissection and identification of the structures is needed in every surgery. Variations in the origin and course of the cystic artery are shown in this slide. Cystic artery usually arises from right hepatic artery. It may arise from left hepatic artery. At times it arises from gastrodudinal artery and passes anterior to common hepatic duct. It may arise from the right hepatic artery but proximal to common bile duct and passes anterior to it. It may arise from right hepatic artery but at a higher level. At times there can be two cystic arteries keeping in view the variations in origin and course of cystic artery. It is essential for every surgeon to know the anatomy of this region, duct first or artery first method for cholecystectomy. During cholecystectomy, first identifies cystic artery and cystic duct. Then he may opt to for either duct or artery first method. But there should be no injury to adjoining structures like CBD and portal vein within the free margin while cutting cystic artery and cystic duct. The surgeon also takes care of posteriorly located inferior vena cava. Do not forget to like, subscribe and share Dr. Salim's anatomy lectures on YouTube as shown in this diagram. The surgeon ligates the cystic duct and artery between two ligatures then gives a cut and cuts the artery and duct. What is Pringle's maneuver? In 1908, Pringle described a technique to minimize blood loss during hepatic surgery by clamping vascular pedicle consisting of hepatic artery and portal vein, both of which are present in the free margin of lesser momentum. Surgeons perform this maneuver to control bleeding not only in traumatic injury to the liver but also in elective hepatic resections. Accidental bleeding in calatus strangle either from hepatic artery or portal vein can be controlled by compressing free margin of lesser omentum between thumb and index finger. Clinical importance of Pringle's maneuver. Pringle's maneuver allows surgeons to evaluate source of bleeding in hepatic trauma, origin of hemorrhage from branches of the hepatic artery or the portal vein and retrohepatic inferior vena cava and hepatic venous. When a clamp is applied to the pedicle, hemorrhage ceases if it is from hepatic artery or portal vein if hemorrhage continues. Other likely sources of bleeding include retrohepatic inferior vena cava and hepatic veins. I want to summarize my lecture as under calatus strangle is strangular area near porta hepatis within lesser omentum. It is bounded superiorly by liver, laterally by cystic duct and medially by common hepatic duct. It is usual content is a right hepatic and cystic artery, lymphaticus and lymph node of Lund. It is of great surgical importance because of its content and their anatomical variations. It is also important because of the relations with surrounding structures like posteriorly located inferior vena cava. Torrential hemorrhage resulting from accidental injury to cystic artery can be confidently controlled by Pringle's maneuver. Now let us go for a quiz based on this lecture. Which of the following is not a boundary of calatus triangle? Cystic duct, common hepatic duct, visceral surface of liver, common bile duct. D. Common bile duct does not form a boundary of calatus triangle. Which of the following is not a usual content of calatus triangle? Common hepatic artery, right hepatic artery, lymph node of Lund. Lymphaticus is the wrong option. Which of the following is a false statement about calatus triangle? Is a triangular anatomical area contains lymph node of Lund? Cystic artery is a content of it. Anatomical variations of cystic artery in calatus triangle are very rare. D is the wrong option. Which of the following is a false statement about Pringle's maneuver? Pringle's maneuver stops bleeding from hepatic artery and portal vein. B in this Maneuver free margin may be compressed 
up to one hour. C. It stops bleeding from inferior vena cava. D. It differentiates sources of bleeding from hepatic artery and inferior vena cava. C is the following statement. Since inferior vena cava lies posterior to the free margin of lesser omentum, in Pringles maneuver we compress the free margin of lesser omentum containing hepatic artery and portal vein, but not inferior vena cava. Which of the following statements is false about cystic artery? Always originates from right hepatic artery, may originate from left hepatic artery, it may originate from gastrodudinal artery, usually it is a content of calyx triangle. A is the wrong option, as cystic artery is known for variations in its origin and course. Which of the following is a false statement about modern calyx triangle? It is larger than calyx triangle. Cystic artery forms its boundary, contains lymph node of mascagni. Cystic artery is ligated during cholecystectomy. B is the wrong option. Cystic artery forms superior boundary of calyx triangle. Modern calyx triangle is bounded superiorly by liver, laterally by cystic duct, and medially by common hepatic duct. It is said that modern hepatic triangle lies between two tubes and liver, whereas Calyx triangle, which is smaller than the modern calyx triangle, lies between three tubes: superiorly cystic artery, laterally cystic duct, and medially common hepatic duct. Cystohepatic lymph node is also known by following names except calyx node, lymph node of Lund, Mascagni's node, Kasai's node. D is the wrong option. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and share Dr. Salim's anatomy lectures on YouTube. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe my channel. Press on the bell icon to remain updated about more video uploads.